Dude, I moved out at 16. I got sober when I was 15. Um, I went to jail for the first time at 13. Uh, so what happens when you're a juvie, you go to you go to court, you go to jail, then you go to court. And when you get convicted, you go back to juvie jail. Then you find a place for you. And then you'll get transferred. So as people come in, they'll move you around. And they, they'll slowly move you out to a foster home, short, short term or long term. And then from the foster home, you'll go home. So I did that a few times. Like I went in and out of jail a few times. And when you're the ward of the state, that means Massachusetts owns you. There's no more court. There's no more going to. You just go the fuck to jail. So if I do something, I get arrested. He goes to jail. You go up to this place in, in, in the middle of nowhere called Intake. They, you go there all day. And I remember like my first time in jail. Um, you got fucked. No, you don't oh. get fucked in jail. Oh, you Not don't in get juvie fu- jail. No. no, you're in for fucking six months. You can't. Right, right, right. Like I said, this you're sucking dick in juvie jail. You just like sucking dick. You, you just I mean? play marbles. Yeah, you're getting out next week. Yeah. Yeah, dude, I'll suck your dick for cigarettes. You, you, you're getting out in a week. I mean, <laughs> you can't just wait a week, dude. You're gonna have a, fucking, here's a cigarette. Right, right. <laughs> right. You know what I mean? It's not life. Right. Um, but I um, I remember the first time you go into this, it's a, it, this the Danvers State Mental Institution gave uh, the Massachusetts Department of whatever the fuck it is, uh, their morgue on their property. And it's in the it's creepy as fuck, dude. You're going up into this insane asylum in the middle of the night in a van from court and you go to like this morgue part and one section is intake. The other section is this NFI shelter care. It's like a place where kids go. But when you go into the intake, they put you there to find out where you're going for the night and then they ship you out again. So you'll go to this one, you know, and I remember I walked in, it was a small room uh, and it's this old fucking insane asylum place. And, you know, and I looked up on the ceiling and it was crazy because they came in with lunch. They have these little deli sandwiches, Italian subs. And they were old, you know, the bread was wet. Right. And I think the deli used to donate them to this place. Oh yeah. You get a bag of chips, the three pack of cookies. Remember the cookies? Yeah. From, and uh, you get a soda and this thing. And everybody took the sandwiches out. All these kids scraped the onions off and threw them on the ceiling. And I looked up at the ceiling. It was covered <laughs> in just years of these onions. It was fucking <laughs> gross. Nuts. No, the whole, none of the kids liked onions? No, they were wet. Uh, it's like a wet, because the sandwiches were like a day or yeah. a few days old. Yeah, so the onions were... Uh, it was fucking gross. So you, had you were to, hungry. You had to taste the wet onions on the sandwich. Nuts. It yeah. was nuts. And then uh, the kid leans into me. That was the first time I was around, like, uh, you know, really around tough kids. Because now I'm around, these are motherfuckers. These right. are the motherfuckers. And the kid was like, yo, when they call your name, ask them where you're going. Well, how did he, did he say it with that accent? Or he you was, said, he was, Boston, what? He, no, he was he uh, was black. Oh. Uh, yeah. Oh, so do his voice. Yo, 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 yo. <laughs> yo, yo. What's up? Yo, yo. Do Jared. black guys have Boston accents out Some there? Some of them do, and it's yeah. funny. Yeah. Jody, so, come here, kid. It's <laughs> the funniest shit in the world. It makes me laugh, and yeah. I'm from Boston. Yeah. You're like, dude, what the fuck? Do you hear fucking P. Diddy's new thing? <laughs> dude, I'm telling you, I got those fucking Yeezys. <laughs> Woo, they're fucking wicked, dude. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. But uh, he was like, ask them where you're going. And if they don't tell you, you're going somewhere bad. Really? So I remember I went out there, and they, so what they do is, you already went through process. So you, you got naked, you bent over, you did jumping jacks, and then you're going to go back out, and they... They shackle you. Do they ever fuck with you, the the guy, when they naked you, when they make you do jumping jacks? Mm-hmm. They do jump jacks to make sure there's nothing in your ass or something? You got, yeah, make sure you're not, they, they legally have to, just like any prisoner. Yeah. You had to check, Does you, you bend was, over. So your dick flops when you do the jumping jacks? I yeah. didn't have a fucking, I, I think I barely dropped a few pubes. <laughs> I'm around 18 year olds. Dude, we had a shower, like in a big shower. Yeah. I'm around these 18 year old hogs. Right. And I'm trying to fluff my shit up. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's funny that you're in prison and you go to, you're, you're in juvie. A lot of things go wrong, but you're still concerned about where you fit in with the boys. 100%. Yeah, that dude. still becomes a concern. How big does my dick look Fuck compared to his? 100%, yeah. dude. So I remember when I walked out, I was like, uh, I go, where are we, you know, as he's putting the shackles on it, I'm like, where are we going? And he looked up and he just put the other shackle on. He walked away. I'm like, fuck. Uh-oh. And he brought me to Charlestown Y. Now, Charlestown. Charlestown's famous. That's from the town, the movie The Town. Yeah, it's the. it was at that time the bank robbing uh, capital of the country. Yeah. 
I mean, they would just rob banks. Yeah. These fucking guys. That's the first time I got robbed. I got mugged. Guy whacked me, going to the mall, had 80 cents. He, he, he took he 80 cents. 80 cents. And I go, can I have a dime to call my mom? <laughs> and he threw me a dime. He gave me a dime. I mean, Boston people are scumbags, but we're you good made, people. You made change on a robbery. <laughs> yeah. We're good people. He <laughs> took the money and he handed you back 10 cents. He, he gave me a dime to call my mom. I called my mom. I go, I, got, I just got mugged. She goes, where the fuck are you? And I'm like, I'm at, the, I'm at the mall in Somerville. What? And that's like way too far for a fucking eight-year-old to be. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. I mean, I was like, she was like, fine. she goes, she was like, walk. I had to walk home. She goes, walk the fuck home right now. I don't want, I mean, it did. It's funny it was, she was mad at you that you got robbed. You're like, I got robbed. You're like, what are you doing? She's like, what the fuck are you doing in Somerville, Bobby? Exactly, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you and I, get robbed. I thought you were in the kitchen and you fucking, I, you've been missing. How come yeah. she didn't know where you were at eight? Who was watching Dude, you at eight? We Listen, we didn't do this <laughs> shit. Like, I'm with my kid. You just told your mom at eight, I'm going to the mall? I just went out. Oh, you just left. When you were my age, when in my generation, Generation X, I think we are, we just went out. You went the fuck out. You, you go, mom, going out. And you went out. Yeah. You don't go, she didn't go, where are you going? You right. went the fuck out. Well, you kept going. You just went out and kept going. <laughs> but the thing, of course, yeah. I'm a fucking kid, dude. Yeah. I mean, the shit that I was doing was nuts. I mean, we, we used to, and I was hanging out with older kids. Yeah. I was hanging out with kids who were teaching me how to drink. I was hanging out with kids who were teaching me, dude, like how to take a beating. Yeah. Because I was a sensitive it, kid, dude. I didn't, I loved people. I always wanted to be around people. I love making people laugh. I, I had a big heart. And I was, you know, my stepfather really broke me. Like, broke me. That first guy taught me violence was the way to protect yourself. Rage and violence is the way to protect yourself. So then I met these kids who were in a very similar boat, but tougher than me. All Frankie, Paul Castro, Jack Gags, Mikey O, Mikey Dots. <laughs> A couple guys, of Mikey's in there always. Yeah. Dude, this, these guys were no joke. Yeah. And they were older than me. I was, yeah. I was, you know, 12, 11, 12. Yeah. Uh, and I remember, you know, I remember I was so proud of myself. The first beating I took uh, in the sum of a project, we went to get weed in the middle of the night. Dumb fucking idea. And they followed us. And these four men, I was like 13, four men f fucking beat the shit out of us. I remember just getting my ass kicked by men. And I was like, I'm a kid. Like, you don't feel bad. <laughs> like, but you felt really proud I that was, you took it. I was so bloody, dude. Yeah. It broke everything in my face. And my friend was bleeding internally. And I felt bad for him because they were like, kick him. He's not, this guy's had enough. He's all bloody. Kick him. So they're kicking him, but he's bleeding internally. He's dying, basically. <laughs> and I remember we were walking away. And I was like, I was like, dude, we're like, we try, we have to hop a fence to get back to Medford. Yeah. And I remember, like, I'm like, I'm blood head to toe. I'm like, Frankie, I didn't cry. And he's like, yeah, good for you, kid. Good for you. Now I'll be over this fucking fence. But when you said it, you like, Frankie, I didn't cry. Because your balls hadn't dropped yet. Oh, it hasn't dropped yet. You're 13. Oh, yeah. You're like, Frankie, I didn't fucking cry yet. Pony, pony boys. <laughs> I didn't cry. It was that moment.